Okay, I'm going to show you the three different ways that you can do a cookie cutter uh, cutter in the Alta. So for the first one, we're going to show you the original way where you just take your image, you save it as a, as a, as a studio file and then bring it into the Alta. And you're going to bring it in with the cookie cutter option. And you're going to get two pieces there. You get a handle and a wall, but the, ha the handle um, comes over way too much to try and if you're if you're trying to cut out a particular design or a particular part of the mirror or anything, it gets in the way. But this shows you how they originally they didn't have this option, but they fixed it so that the walls got pro progressively thinner. So that's first version. Version number one, I never use it. Version number two, take that same image and du duplicate it. You're going to use one to make the handle and one to make the cutting wall. The offset, you're going to do an external offset of 0.24 inches to make the handle. You can make it thicker if you feel like you need to, but that works best for me. And then I'm going to take those two and make them a compound path and fill them with color. I fill them in a separate color just for my own edification. Um, you don't have to, it's not going to change how it comes into the uh, software. Then the next one we're going to do an offset to create the wall of 0.025 inches, which is the thinnest wall I've been able to get the Alta to print. And depending on what you're cutting, you may be okay with it being a little bit thicker. It really, it, Some of it is trial and error. So again, you're going to make a compound path. You're going to fill it with a color. And then what you're going to do is you're going to center them. When you select two pieces and you hit the center, they go right there. There you go. They're layered on top of each other now, kind of. So you're going to save that. You're going to open it up now on this particular one. We're going to open it up as an extrusion. Okay. And now it's two separate pieces, but they don't look like it, so you have to ungroup them. And you're going to have the handle, and then you'll have the wall. So select the wall, and the wall height that I use is 0.67, and I don't really have any idea how I got to that particular measurement. Don't know. So you can play around with it to see what works best for you. And there we go. Now you're going to change the height of the um, handle, and we're going to make that a 0.12. Now, I thought you could center it the same way, and you can't. So you got to do them separately. I think you might be able to with some of the new tools that are coming on, but for this particular demonstration, we will do each one separately. And we also make sure that we hit the arrow pointing to the donut, which um, flattens it to the bed. Um, because as you see how that moved just now, um, the wall part was sitting on top of the other part, so you have to bring it down. Um, so that it, it melts perfectly together. And as, when you save them both and group them, when you group them together, they will print together. Okay? So that's modification uh, number one, and that's just a straight wall. Now, to do the other version, we're going to save each one of those individually. So the wall is one file, and the handle is one file. And then we're going to fix those. We're going to combine them together once we get to the Alta software. Okay, so now we're going to bring in the handle first, and we're going to bring that in as an extrusion. Okay. 
and we're going to make that the um, 0.12 inches high that we did before. And now we're going to open the wall section as a cookie cutter. Okay, so it's still coming in as two pieces, so we can ungroup it and we can get rid of that base. And then I always go back and regroup those together because sometimes those top ones seem to disappear if you're not careful, those top layers. Now we're going to bring in the base and you're going to see what happens. When you do an extrusion, it's going to come in the exact same way that you had it on your original software, but a cookie cutter is going to flip it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to flip whichever one isn't right, and in this particular case it was the the cutter part of it wasn't facing the right way. And so now I'm going to center and then group and center and down and group. And now we have the smaller handle so that the cutter wall goes straight down through the handle and you still get those um, the reduced thickness edges um, that they've tried to fix the cutter with. Um, I have a hard time with them. I'm not ever really pretty happy with them. What I will do sometimes if um, I'll go and I will paint a thin layer of super glue on the top part of it. Um, on both the inside and the outside, let it sit overnight and then sand it the next morning. And that's it. Hope it helps.